All right, Chloe. Better head in. Chemistry won't bore itself. Oh, good. You're here. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time have listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues... Hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton! Sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Meow. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is... Are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Miranda's an idiot, because falling in love is stupid. What is she, 12? Actually, she's about 15, so your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive is well taken. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh... What? <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so... Why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah sure Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit, and don't, like, fall down. Rachel looks so happy here. There's Rachel's belt. I'll go give this to Rachel. Hey now, sharing is caring. I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. <laughs> Why do theater kids take themselves so serious? If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the, the Tempest. Times are hard for elite private high schools. Must be a hundred costumes in here. <laughs> Am I the only student who's not in this show? <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta turn up the heat. Uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. Here you go. Ow! <laughs> I didn't say attack me with it. Shit. Sorry.
Chloe Price. Rachel Amber? Last night was amazing. I, I, I'd never seen Firelock live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Ditch class. You mean it? Is that weird? No, it's awesome. I hoped you'd say that. Know about that eye? That is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Are you kidding? This is a badge of honor. Respect. Let's get the hell out of here. You sure you don't want to just grab the bus, or...? Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well? What the hell am I getting into here? Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. Whoa, Nathan's dad is a Terminator? That totally checks out. I feel pretty confident there's going to be a dead body in here. I feel pretty Pretty confident there's going to be a dead body in here. Thing's heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. All right, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Hey, so... I want to say thanks. For pulling you out of school? No, dummy. Thanks for last night. Ah. Uh, if you hadn't shown up. Assholes abound in Arcadia Bay. I owe you. That's for sure. 
Is that why you came along? Are you suggesting I should need a reason to ditch school? I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Try again. I'm going to need more to go on than that. Joy rides with me aren't fun? Joy rides to where again? Life needs a little mystery, Chloe. Let's do something fun. Okay, I'm listening. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is... A lie. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So... Which is the lie? I don't buy the ambidextrous claim. No? Well, that's too bad, because it's true. Prove it. Sign your name with both hands. Sign where? Seriously? All the bad girls do it. Come on. Damn. I'm afraid the lie was New York. I'm a Cali girl, born and raised. So New York's on the bucket list. Broadway, here I come. Cool. Okay, your turn, Price. First fact, right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. Sad to say this, since you're a Leo and all, but I'm allergic to cats. Are you now? I swear. I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. Huh. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Swash. Plunder secret treasure. So, pirate. Obviously true. Like you said. Arr. Okay. You say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. 
You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work? Well, sure. It's not for everyone. I get that. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. Which brings me to your alleged cat allergy. Alleged? I'm calling why. Why is that? I mean, maybe you're allergic. But I've passed by your locker a few times. And I've seen that old photo of a cat you keep in there. You've passed by my locker? Stalker much? Hey, I notice things. I can't help it. I guess you're no stranger to being noticed, too. It's kind of new for me. Well, get used to it. So, if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is... something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. But eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. I guess. You opened up a lot. That's all. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Trust doesn't exactly come easy to me. Maybe if you'd had my life, you'd understand. No, I get that. On the other hand, I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. I wouldn't mind listening to some music. bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Fuck it!
Hey, it's actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? That you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we've got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. That blows. Well, shit. That was my last quarter. You? Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh yeah? Let's see what you got. Rachel really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it working for her. This whole day is out of order, but in the best possible way. Huh. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. Damn, that's an old tree. Wait, does this sign say butt rot? Dwight Mueller really killed it with this statue of an explorer guy. Where are all my explorer ladies at, though? Probably at home. Washing laundry and... I guess nature doesn't quite provide. Get out of here, woodland creatures. Have some self-respect. This trash can is in pretty high demand. Bye, you fools. I wonder if I could use this to get the quarter out. I wonder if I could use this to get the quarter out. Yuck. Cliché much, A.W. and O.L.? I've been saying sorry all morning. I admit it was really dumb to lock the keys in the car. You've been on me for three hours. If you're going to argue in public, at least have the decency to make it about something interesting. Hey, spare some change? Sorry, we might have some leftover food when we're done. What? No, I'm not... What kind of food? This place has really gone downhill. Shh. She's right there. <laughs> My hierarchy of needs goes pot... Then beer, then wine. Still, wino has a classy ring to it. There's got to be something freeing about being able to build your home wherever you are, from whatever is around you. What's worse than groveling for change? Groveling for change and failing. If Max were here, she'd probably take a black and white photograph and call it Innocence Lost, or some shit.
I'm not getting in there with just my fingers. Maybe Rachel has something I can use? Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Oh, right. Sh sure, let's try it. Stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. <laughs> Got power, activate. I win. That was enough of a game for me. Your MacGyver skills are second to none. Except, probably, MacGyver. All right, here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it? I do that in my head during, like, every class. See? You're a natural. Let's give it a try. Hey, what do you say we barbecue some squirrels when we're done here? God, you just have the best ideas. They totally stole my third grade art project. Wow. You made that? Can't you tell? It does have a certain give zero fucks quality that I recognize. All right. Let's see. After this, want to come home and listen to my Spotify playlist? Is it the kind of listening where you have to get under the covers to really appreciate the music? Yes, and clothes really mess with the acoustics, so... <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What's going on with these two? And the Lord saideth, Thou shalt make a burnt offering of your firstborn son. Who are you talking to, Dad? No one, son. Now, lean into the grill and see if the fire started. Further. <laughs> Further. Wow. That was dark. Too dark. Perfect dark. Loving this guy. What's he thinking right now? I hope 
Please don't mistake my shorts for begonia. I've been pollinated twice this week already. <laughs> <laughs> This is fun. Who's next? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. Ooh, jackpot! Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Oh, honey, I think we used the vibrating bed for too long. I'm totally seeing double. <laughs> Rachel? Hey, are you all right? What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. Uh, hell yeah. The honor student wants to show the school delinquent how to party? Be my guest. How gracious of you. They have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead? No. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And... Fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. Alright. I'm going in. Try to keep up. Um, can we help you? <sighs> oh my god! Holy shit! Talk about committing to a performance. Better act... Oh, thank god! Please, this girl is in trouble! Go get help! I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. What are you waiting for? Go! I, I've, I've seen this kind of thing before. This woman clearly has a wound that needs to be sterilized. Do you happen to have any alcohol? I didn't see a wound. Look closer. In the meantime, I'll search for the booze. Hold on. There's something off about this. Are you girls putting us on? Rachel! Run! What the hell? So, maybe your acting could use a little work, but at least you committed to the performance. Thanks. <laughs> I could use a drink after trying to keep up with you. I am excessively sober right now. Right. Okay. Guess we're leaving now.